His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent written letters to their Majesties, their Excellencies, and their Highnesses, the leaders of Arab countries, inviting them to participate in the 33rd session of the Arab Summit, which will be held in Bahrain mid May. The ambassadors of Bahrain, accredited to the Arab countries, uh, delivered the letters and conveyed the greetings and wishes of His Majesty the King of health and happiness and continued progress and prosperity for their countries. The importance of the Arab Summit, hosted uh, by Bahrain, stems from the aspirations to improve joint Arab action and enhance coordination towards the various regional and international issues to support the efforts of Arab countries and people towards achieving development and prosperity. The Kingdom, since the announcement at uh, the Jidda 2023 summit to host the 33rd session of the Arab Summit, implemented many preparations and harnessed all efforts in preparation for this important event to ensure the success of the Arab Summit in achieving its goals to unify Arab ranks and strengthen the ability of Arab countries to face all challenges. In all speeches, His Majesty the King is keen to showcase the Kingdom of Bahrain's support of joint Arab action, which embodies His Majesty's belief in the importance of improving Arab collective action and enhancing its ability to achieve aspirations. In order to unite ranks and strengthen Arab solidarity, the Kingdom of Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty the King, plays a prominent role in supporting Arab efforts to confront all challenges to consolidate the foundations of peace, security and stability. The Kingdom of Bahrain always stands united with its fellow Arab countries against any foreign interferences in its internal affairs and never delays in defending Arab causes. Thanks to the visions of His Majesty the King, Bahrain has distinguished fraternal relations with its fellow Arab countries, which have reached high levels that strengthen joint cooperation in all fields, especially the efforts that serve the interests of the Arab nation toward further development. The Kingdom of Bahrain's hosting of the Arab Summit this year affirms Bahrain's commitment under the wise leadership of His Majesty to support joint Arab action and strengthen Arab capabilities in facing current, regional and international challenges. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince Debbie, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa hosted an iftar banquet for senior officers and officials of the Ministry of Interior at the Public Security Officers Club. His Royal Highness was accompanied by the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Educational Charitable Trust and Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Labour Fund Tamkeen. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Upon arrival, His Royal Highness was received by the Minister of Interior General as Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness uh, Prince Salman bin Hamad highlighted the significant contributions of the Ministry of Interior and its role as an integral part of Team Bahrain, working towards advancing uh, the Kingdom's comprehensive development goals led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces. His Royal Highness affirmed uh, the Ministry of Interior's pivotal role and the efforts of its personnel in safeguarding public security, preserving rights, and enforcing the law. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister highlighted that security is an essential pillar of development which requires a safe environment to achieve its set goals. His Royal Highness, Prince Salman bin Hamad, noted uh, the noble values and principles of the holy month of Ramadan and which the Kingdom of Bahrain further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness commended the Kingdom's advanced security efforts as well as the achievements of the Ministry of Interior and its agencies. In this regard, His Royal Highness, uh, Prince Salman bin Hamad, extended his gratitude to General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah and the Ministry of Interior's personnel. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of continuing to develop the Interior Ministry services and adopting the latest practices and modern technology aimed at enhancing community security and the development of the criminal justice system. For his part and on behalf of the MOI personnel, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah expressed his gratitude to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister for his support for the Interior Ministry personnel. The Minister of Interior wished His Royal Highness success in furthering the Kingdom's development under the leadership of His Majesty King. Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces. The Minister of Interior affirmed that the Ministry is continuing its advancement within its development and modernization strategy by increasing the competence of its personnel to deal with various security challenges. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and a number of senior officials were also in audience.
His Royal Highness said the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with several Bahrainis who won Holy Qur'an's competitions abroad at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the Kingdom's commitment and achievements in serving and preserving the Holy Qur'an, consolidating the Islamic faith and uh, disseminating the religion's moderation-based teachings and values amongst the community thanks to the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad highlighted that those who recite, memorize and tone the Holy the Quran are the pride of the kingdom and the key members of Team Bahrain. His Royal Highness congratulated the winners of the competitions and wished them success in their future endeavors. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad emphasized the kingdom's commitment to supporting and upholding the Islamic faith and its teachings. His Royal Highness highlighted the role of the Ministry of Justice Islamic Affairs in Awqaf in preparing the uh, contestants for regional and international Quran competitions. In this regard, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad expressed his thanks to the winners' parents for their support, which led to their honorable achievements. For their part, the winners of the competitions expressed their gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness and extended appreciation for His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness's unwavering support in this field. The President of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and a number of senior officials also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness uh, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the outgoing Ambassador of the Kingdom of Thailand to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Pia Pak uh, Sirkron, at the Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad affirmed the long standing Bahraini Thailand relations, which has contributed to advancing levels of bilateral cooperation. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of furthering multi sector collaboration between the two countries to achieve mutual aspirations. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad commended Ambassador uh, Sirashrion on his efforts in enhancing bilateral relations and the continuation of broadening levels of cooperation to benefit both countries and their people. Regional and global developments and issues of common interest were also discussed. The Thai ambassador expressed his gratitude for His Royal Highness's commitment to furthering the Bahrain-Thailand relations and wished uh, the Kingdom of Bahrain for their progress and prosperity. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. Under the patronage of the National Security Advisor, National Guard Commander, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the concluding ceremony of the Royal Guard Ramadan sports competitions was held in the presence of the Commander of the Royal Guard Special Force Colonel His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The sons of their highnesses participated in parts of the competitions His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Nasser, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Khalid, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Nasser, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid, and His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Nasser. His Highness the National Security advisor watched the Ramadan competitions which included paddle, crossfit, tug of war, relay running and the Royal Guard's strongest man. The competitions also included military competitions which enhanced military competency in which a number of uh, Royal Guard officers, members, women guard and officers' children participated. At the end of the competitions, His Highness Sheikh Nasser crowned the winners where His Highness Sheikh Khalid received the cup of the Royal Guard Ramadan competitions. His Highness the National Security Advisor also honored the participants in various competitions his Highness affirmed uh, the importance of holding sports competitions during the Holy Month for their positive role in improving fitness, competency and professionalism. He congratulated the top winners, expressing thanks to the organizers. His Highness Sheikh Nasser also congratulated the participants on their advanced sports level during the competitions, hailing their readiness and high spirit. The ceremony was also attended by the Deputy Commander of the Royal Guard, Major General Hamda Hamad Khalifa al naimi and a number of officers, non-commissioned officers and members of the Royal Guard.
The Minister of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture, Engineer Wael Limbarak, visited the seventh constituencies of the Northern Government. The Minister was briefed on the details of the new park to be landscaped in Block 551 in El Greya, which will be constructed on an area of 3,300 square meters. Within the third uh, package for the development of roads, sanitations and municipalities, the Minister was also briefed on the afforestation plan in the Northern Government which includes afforestation in 12 sites, during which more than 4,500 trees will be planted. He affirmed that the ministry will implement a package of service projects such as gardens and walkways in various regions of the kingdom to meet the aspirations of the citizens. An implementation of the directives of first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, chairman of the General Sports Authority, the GSA, and president of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the GSA, organized the third edition of the Sports Games 2024 in the Isa bin Rashid Sports Hall in Isa Sports City. GSA deputy chairman His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa attended the event crowning all winners. His Highness Sheikh Salman expressed gratitude to His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad for his generous directives to organize this event stressing that this initiative achieved great success for the third year in a row by enhancing the spirit of communication between members of the sports community. He praised the large participation that was witnessed during the event, appreciating the great interactions that club heads and uh, federations showed through positive participation in this event. The deputy chairman noted that cooperation and the spirit of competition in such sporting events is the most prominent goals for which this initiative was launched. Bahrain's uh, parliamentary division delegation to the 148th General Assembly of IPU held a number of bilateral meetings with international parliaments on the sidelines of the union's work held in Geneva. The first deputy chairman of the Shura Council and head of the delegation, Jamal Mohamed Fakhrou, met with Iraqi deputy speaker, Dr. Uh, Dr. Shakhwan Abdullah, and uh, the speaker of the East Africa Legislative Assembly, Joseph Nahimano, and president of the National Assembly in the Ivory Coast, Adam Picto. The delegation also held a meeting with the chair of the IPU's working group on science and technology, Dennis uh, Nocton, in the presence of the Ambassador Mukhtar Omar, the advisor to the IPU Secretary General. During the bilateral meetings, the delegation affirmed keenness to boost cooperation and exchange parliamentary experiences with international parliaments in a way that contributes to sporting or supporting common issues and bilateral interests. The delegation pointed out to the necessity of solidarity and cooperation between parliaments to unify the visions and positions towards various issues, especially the Palestinian cause and what the Palestinian people in the Gaza Strip suffer from an aggressive war which requires intense international efforts that contribute to the ceasefire and to ensure the arrival of food supplies, humanitarian and medical aids to the Gaza Strip. 
They noted that Bahrain's legislative authority puts within its priorities the establishment of parliamentary ties and the holding of consultative and coordination meetings with parliaments and legislative councils as well as parliamentary organizations and federations, especially the IPU. The delegation stressed that uh, these meetings would open horizons to the development and implementation of joint parliamentary programs and activities and strengthen parliamentary action. The Arab Parliamentary Group in the IPU nominated the Shura member and member of Bureau of Women Parliamentarians Hala Ramzi Fayez to be a rapporteur for the Arab Group at the meeting of the Sustainable Development Committee in the Union. The committee will discuss the topic of parliamentary strategies, long-term term impact from armed conflicts scheduled to be held in the work of the 150th IPU General Assembly, which will be held in Kazakhstan. The Arab Parliamentary Group decided to nominate Hala Ramzi after the Office of the Sustainable Development Committee agreed to include the topic in the committee's agenda for the next year. The nomination of Hala Ramzi comes as an affirmation of her role and her distinguished contributions in the advancement of parliamentary work and her role through her membership in uh, the Bureau of Women Parliamentarians, as well as her representation on behalf of the Bureau in a number of meetings of the IPU General Assembly. In the same context, Shura member Dr. Bassam Ismail Al bin Mohammed and MP Hassan Ibrahim Hassan participated in the meeting of the Committee on Sustainable Development.